Oh, for me, well, I really like the, um, the most nostalgic one for me was the, the Spitfire. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. But the one that really gripped me was the Volkswagen Golf. Uh, yeah, the, the Citroen BX for me. I thought the Citroen BX was a fabulous yeah. car. I loved it. They're all good cars, but yeah, uh, that's yeah. the main ones. Mm, well, normally manual, I'd say, would be more fun. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of the automatic gearbox no. at all. But the Merc was automatic. It was, yeah, but sometimes we're pushed into corners because <coughs> so was that Toyota. Yeah, and yeah. they were fine, weren't they? Yeah. The Merc sort of suited it, and yeah. you'd, have a, you'd have a 190 automatic, wouldn't you? So there you go, it's yeah. kind of horses for courses, isn't it? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. My first car was a 1957 long wheel base Land Rover. In a rather fetching grey. My first car, like uh, my first car was a um, a Dutton Phaeton that I made with my dad uh, after saving up <coughs> all my pocket money to buy. Don't be fooled by buying something that's cheap and a shed that you're going to do up because it that's, just costs more money. That is very very true. <laughs> <laughs> Having obviously clearly both been caught out by that before. That's right, we have, yeah, yeah, de definitely spend the extra five hundred quid. It'll save you two weeks in the workshop. Mm, best car ever, and without a shadow of a doubt, was a Morris Minor. It just went on forever. Is that favourite or best? Best. It, yeah. I, I, all the main, I, it was quite early on and, it, and I did all the maintenance myself yeah. and it just kept going. They do, don't they? I yeah. had a Morris Minor pickup for a while. It yeah. was awesome. I thought it was going to, it did snap in half one week. I welded it back together the following week. The week after that, I drove it down to Cornwall and back. Excellent. The Morris Minor was awesome. Mm. As far as best goes, well, because I'm a bit tight and as I get older, I can always afford a little bit more money for another for my next car. It's always a work van. That's the only thing I ever invest in is my current yellow van. Traffic, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, it's a very worn out one now, but when I get my new one, that will be the best van. And I don't know what it's, it's going to be. It's very exotic, yet. is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you know the worst car I've had? Uh, I do. I'm just yeah. trying to think of it. No, I, I don't. Told you. I told you. I have told <laughs> you, it? Gus. Remember, it was the Talbot uh, Express yeah, the van. Express van. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, awful. Yeah. It rattled like a barrel full of horseshoes. It wouldn't <laughs> stay together. And most of it evaporated nice. as you went along. The rust would literally, you know, you see in the movies where the <laughs> Sandman disappears in the wind. Well, that's what my van was like. The gaffer tape peeled off and the rust came out. <laughs> the stickers came off. Yeah, I, had a, I had a Volkswagen Beetle that was nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. And it was at a period of my life when <laughs> the last thing I wanted to be doing was maintaining cars. And it was nothing but trouble. It never, I, in actual fact, I gave it away in the end. Yeah, they are nice, they're nice looking cars, uh, aren't they? Yeah. My history prior to flipping bangers was uh, building boats. I built very nice luxury pleasure boats and river boats and things of that sort of nature. I'm starting, begin, starting to begin to wonder if there would be a future for me in flipping boats. Now, not entirely certain because there's a couple of constraints with flipping bangers. A, we try and do it all in one week, and B, we try and buy our initial thing for less than a thousand pounds, and we try and double our money. I've been in boats for too long to know that any of that is possible. I've driven across uh, Mongolia, uh, across Siberia, uh, so many places, across America, um, yeah, down through Africa. I've done uh, lots and lots of journeys, but I don't think bizarre. I think I find it all amazing. I love it. I love dust. <clears throat> I love deserts. I love traveling. So. Yeah, no, I feel uh, I've been very lucky to have done that at a time when, uh, when I could, really.